Endure is the title of the new motion picture from In Focus, currently filming in Lakeland, Florida. It stars Judd Nielsen from The Breakfast Club and Devin Sawa from Final Destination. And it's a, um, a crime thriller about a detective and his search for a missing girl, but also his struggle as he splits his time between home where he has his wife who's dying and um, on this case. And on this case, he's been given a new partner. Uh, my character is uh, Zeth Arnold. He is a rookie from Washington, comes to uh, help out the lead, who is uh, Emery Lane. Um, you know, he's a hotshot cop, thinks he knows it all. Uh, and I guess uh, the Emery Lane character, which is Judd Nelson, kind of puts him in his place, you know, lets him know, you know, what's up. I'm mostly responsible for the finance portion of the film and any legal uh, aspect. So just for instance, the scene today, there was a, a ledger newsstand in the background of a shot and we didn't have it cleared so I try to call Skip Perez at the ledger see if they can clear it you know instantly if not then we got to pull it from the scene so of course then being owned by a New York Times company it would have had to go through legal and chain so instantly we had to quick make a quick decision. Filming for Endure is scheduled to end May 18th and could be released late 2009 or early 2010. Stay tuned for ENN for future updates on the production. I'm Ron Elliott reporting for ENN News. Cypress Gardens, one of Central Florida's oldest theme parks, is sadly closed yet again as of September 23rd. The park itself was opened in 1936 and has been beloved by much of the local public. After being sold a certain number of times and hit by hurricanes in 2004, is when keeping the park open was becoming more and more challenging. After going bankrupt, employers of the park tried going with a different approach. The fairly new roller coaster Starliner was open, and new owners even tried changing the whole park to just the water attractions. The park's closing is most likely due to lack of ticket sales, the struggling economy, and competition with many other theme parks, and this time it has even left over 160 people looking for a new job. I talked with a former employee on how he felt about the situation. Uh, when Cypress Gardens closed again, it did catch me by surprise a little bit, but I had heard about it going to be closing again, so it didn't really affect me that much, but I was shocked by the news. One of my favorite things about Cypress Gardens was the fact that everybody there got along. It was like one big happy family, like Disney's slogan is. But at the same time, everybody always got along. There was rarely any issues, and everybody treated people in the park like their own family. It is unclear if the park will reopen with new management or be closed for good. For ENN, I'm Byron Leon. Dioji Park is a neighborly dog park which offers many fun activities for dogs of all shapes and sizes. This park includes two different areas for both large and small dogs, where many have room to run and jump as they please. It was built to remember Deputy Matt Williams and his partner Dioji, who were lost in 2005. As for hospitality, this dog park offers shaded benches, dog water fountains, and small baggies for cleaning up after your dog. I've been coming to this park for a little bit over a month now since she's got her last round of shots so she's you know able to come to the park. Um, certain activities I would do with my dog would be throwing the ball around, maybe running around the fence with her also, and just trying to let her be a puppy. Throughout the facility, you are able to find many training structures that help your canine get exercise and enjoy themselves. It is also constantly being updated and is kept well maintenanced. I've been coming to GOG Park uh, about, a, about a month, actually exactly a month. Our puppy is three months when we got him, so we try to come once or twice a week. Well, every time we come, he runs and runs. He gets with other dogs, and that's what we like. He plays a lot, and as he, when he gets home, he's very tired and exhausted, so he runs all over the place. DOG Park is open from sunrise to sunset every day and is located on 500 West Carter Road. I'm Byron Leon, reporting for ENN. If you have any of these providers or have cable TV or any other satellite TV service, you will not be affected by the analog to digital switch on June 12th. But for those of you who have over-the-air TV channels, aka rapid ears, you have to take some steps to make sure you get your TV experience. 
Local TV stations will turn off their analog broadcasting signal and begin broadcasting their exclusive new digital signal technology. If you are still using an antenna, that's fine. All you need is a digital converter box, or look and see if your television has a digital tuner built in. The big reason for this switch is not only because more channels and programming, it's also because most broadcasting channels and many TV shows are now in widescreen and high definition, which can send up to five to six times more of information. The digital transition was supposed to take place on February 17th, but the Senate delayed it to June 12th. Whether you have cable or over the air, you still have to pay for the electric bill. I'm Ryan Elliott, reporting for ENN. George Jenkins is home to a handful of new clubs this year, like Teen Invaders, Phi Alpha Theta, Interact, and GSA. Joining these clubs is another new group of students, and they are making quite the impression. The George Jenkins Dreammaker Band is composed of two parts, the band members who play the instruments and the Escape Color Guard. But this year, the band has invited a new group of students to join their family. Students from the special needs classes. Basically what we've done is we've taken two groups of students at the school, the group of kids from the ESC classes, and we're including them in something that regular kids do, which is the color guard. Every kid has a buddy, so it's one ESC student and one regular color guard student, and they just, they kind of bond with each other and they get to have fun. And a good time is small in comparison to other benefits these students get out of this program. I got to meet a lot of new people here. I deal with a bunch of my friends that are actually in color guard too, so it's really, really cool. These students have received accolades not only at their debut performance, where they have received standing ovations, but also from outside media sources such as The Ledger and Fox 13 News. The group has recently performed at Special Olympic events as well as other band events. These students have grown together through hard work and patience, which in the end is what the team is all about. Every day the kids kind of get to learn something new about each other. The ESC kids get to come in and they get to learn their basic flag skills. And the regular color guard students, they just get to learn a lot from each other. So I would definitely say that that's the most beneficial part and the, the most fun that we could have after school. This is Carlin Aloisio reporting for ANN. In only five years, Mozilla Firefox has become one of the leading browsers for the internet. It has been top rated by many tech sites and its new update has been downloaded over 400 million times. Speed is very important when it comes to a web browser. This new version of Firefox is almost three times faster than the last. The browser is so popular because of its unique features known only in Firefox. It is available in over 70 languages and is compatible with both Windows and Macintosh computers. It is very customizable and fit many skins you can download online. Not only that, its security includes a pop-up blocker and an anti-phishing system which blocks any site reported of forgery. Including to all of this, Firefox also includes password saves, offline browsing, spell check, and a download manager. I talked with a couple of students on their views of this browser. Firefox, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good web browser. It um, serves the web pretty nicely. Um, you can download things pretty well. Uh, you can also use the tab feature, which you know a lot of web browsers use, but they really perfected it in this last feature they did. Some students, though, have different opinions about Firefox. What I don't like about Firefox is that if you add too many add-ons to it, it seems to really bog it down and make it really slow. Though Firefox is only five years old, it has seen many updates, and I'm sure we'll be seeing many more in the near future. I'm Byron Leon, reporting for ENN. TV shows can be watched all over the world from your cable provider or the internet, but because of pirating, the studios had to come up with a way to slow down the process. Hulu.com. It offers supported streaming video of TV shows and movies from NBC, Fox, ABC, and many other networks and studios. I use Hulu.com to catch up on episodes of my favorite TV show, The Office. In addition to those studios and programs and movies, Hulu carries shows from other networks such as Comedy Central, USA Network, FX, Sci-Fi, E, A&E, and online comedy such as The Onion News Network. When I don't get the chance to stay up late and watch Ken O'Brien, I head over to Hulu.com to catch up on the episodes I missed. It's okay if you can't find your favorite TV show on Hulu.com, but I guarantee you that you'll find it on there soon because of the rapid success of the website. 
No matter what kind of taste you have in TV, you'll probably find something similar on Hulu.com. I'm Ryan Elliott reporting for ENN. It's there. We're going to make our way back to the timeline now. Barrel racing is a rodeo event where a horse and rider race against the clock to complete a cloverleaf pattern around three barrels strategically placed in an arena. George Jenkins Jr. and Mackenzie Dixon recently placed first in a state competition for the Florida High School Rodeo Association. I compete in four different rodeo associations. We travel all over the state of Florida to compete. Um, our national finals are in Oklahoma and New Mexico. Um, we usually compete for money or points sometimes, and we get like belt buckles and saddles and just different kind of stuff. Um, not only is it important to keep like us in shape, but we have to keep the horses in shape also. We ride them like four to five days a week, so they won't pull a muscle when they rodeo them. Um, we have to clean out their hooves to make sure there's not rocks in it to like prevent foundering and injuries. Uh, we have to brush their coat to make sure they're clean and healthy. Um, it's a lot of work, but in the end, it's really worth it. ENN wishes Mackenzie the best in her upcoming competition, which will be held in Williston, Florida. This is Lexi Staley reporting for ENN. Over 2,000 students, 150 teachers, seven hours of school, and roughly seven hours after school. How much is spent to enjoy the simple life as a teenager? Homework or class assignments given to students outside the classroom to increase knowledge, prepare us for upcoming lessons, and allows us as students to work independently and individually. Some people even find learning in a quiet, peaceful environment like home to be much easier than in a populated place. In some ways, it can also be stressful. Research synthesis has showed that too much homework can make you counterproductive or burned out. Homework that is piled in AP classes and work that exceeds over three hours can affect some, but not all, students' social skills. Learning that needs to be given to them. So if they do the homework at home and they come back, they're prepared for the next lesson and they build upon it. Sometimes I think teachers can give too much homework, though, however, and it becomes overwhelming and students disengage, and that's when I think it's bad. It doesn't really prepare us for what, what we're in store for if we're going to college. Um, I, I guess a better system would be more, more classes like AP, but that's a lot heavier of a course load. I think homework can be a necessity for people. It can help you practice in classes and get better in whatever you're doing, but it can also be a big stress and be more harmful sometimes than it is helpful. Yeah, I just think homework can be a necessity. Sometimes it, you know, be just like, oh yeah, this, we don't need it, but uh, all in all, I think it's okay. You need to look at the information you've been given in class 17 to 20 times, but you need to do more than just look at it. You need to work with it. If you don't work with it enough times to get it into your brain, then you can't take a test on it. You'll get into the test and you'll say, I don't remember, and then you won't do well in the test. Homework's necessary for you to keep active with that material. Whether you are stressed or fly by your homework with ease, we are completely different on how we do our work. Just try and do what you do best. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Ryan Elliott, ENN. And the girls varsity softball team has set another great season. Winning more than four consecutive games, the Lady Eagles has set their eyes on another big win. Uh, I think we've done really well. Um, we've really um, gelled a lot better this year. We've become more of a team than we have the last couple of years. Uh, attitudes, I think, is still another big thing that we need to work on. Um, but other than that, we're doing really well this season. Having a record of being 5-1, and one, Coach Powell tells us the key elements of having a good team. We stress uh, a couple things first off. First off, good attitude and work hard and uh, good grades. And if those three things happen, then we've got a chance to win on the field. So we feel one of those three things break down, then uh, our chances of winning are probably less, and I think that goes in a, you know, those, if, they, if they have those three things going for them, then it'll help us be a team, better family also. Having 25 games in the regular season and winning five of those games, these girls have a great chance of going all the way. Jontavia Bellamy, ENN.